and welcome back to my video tutorials today I'm looking at Word 2016 and I'm looking at the design tab this is part 3 now the design tab will work with documents overall design for example the design tab is for changes affecting the entire document so you can create a certain look and design a template with the options here a lot of these options in this window so you can find in other options within the ribbon but it just puts them all into one compact place where you can work with your document quickly so I'm going to start from left to right and the first option is your themes. Now these themes will change your document format in here to the right. So let's put some text in the document first and there's my header at the top. So I'm going to go back to home and say you're working with a document and you want to choose a header here. So I'm going to highlight my header and I'm going to do a standard one there. I showed you styles in part one so have a look at my video tutorials. Now I'm going back to design. Now I might want to change the theme, so if I come down to themes and if you scroll down you should have various themes in there and you can even browse themes at the bottom. So I'll just select Metropolitan theme. Now if I go back to home to my styles option, this is now changed to Metropolitan, can you see? So if I go back to design, I might change that theme. If I scroll along, I might just serve to have that little border there with my header there and a number or just a standard one. Actually, I like that one there. I'm going to choose that selection. So I might change the colour. I'm going to decide actually I want a red orange option there. And you see how the board has changed. Or I might decide I want more of a violet colour. Now, if I go back to home, you can see how my styles have now changed to that format I changed in my main design. So it changes the overall look of your document. So go back to design. Again, I might decide on a different font. So I might go to Franklin Gothic, select that. Also colours, you can customise colours at the bottom if you're looking for specific colours. For example, you might want a different background. You can change your text background. And you can change on the right here examples of how your hyperlinks are even going to look. So let's change something here. Let's change text background light. And you see I've made that darker there. You can see I've changed the colour, I might want a bit of green in there as well. And you can change exactly what you want and then you can give that a name at the bottom. Call it my one. And then click save. And you've saved your one. So if I actually go to themes, I can actually save the current theme. And choose where I want to save that theme with the rest of my templates. So there's your font changed and the colour changed. How about paragraph spacing? You might decide I want more of a compact one or tight. So I'll do a tight theme. Then I can set that as default. This is how it will look for a new document. So if I select set as default and save your current settings, then this is the format and you'll get every time you create a new blank document. Your next option is effects. This is when you add objects. You can have special effects. You can have visual effects and borders to add to that object. It just quickly changes it for you. Next is the watermark option. So if I left click watermark, I can add default watermark options there. But if you go to custom watermark, you can start playing around with that and adding your own. For example, you might want a picture in the background as a watermark. So let's add any old picture would do. Now I've got three options here. I can select from a file on my computer, website, or my OneDrive, which is my online storage. But I'm going to browse from a picture today. And I want to select any picture that would do, little bowling ball effect, click OK and then see it adds it just in the background as a watermark click on a watermark though and select custom watermark you can change that by unselecting washout, click OK and you see it more prominent but again the whole point of the watermark is for it just to fade in the background so you can still read the text clearly and give your logo so I'm going to add washed out effect and click apply to see also, if you prefer, you can add the text watermark here. Choose your language, various languages there. Text you want, so I'm going to choose top secret. I'm going to change my font to Franklin Gothic Heavy. Size, I'm going to leave that default size. Doesn't matter too much of the size for now. And then the colour, I can add the colour. So I'm going to add a, a bit of a green there. Semi transparent or not, I'll leave it semi transparent. So I want it horizontal, click apply, and there it is horizontal. I probably want that diagonal, select diagonal, and then click apply. And that gives that a diagonal effect. And again, you can untick semi-transparent apply, 
and it'll be more prominent and that doesn't look too bad as long as you choose the correct colors in the background and then click close page color I just might want a tint I might want a dark background or just a tint of grey there as so and if you click on page color you can also use fill effects if you're really feeling daring and you're creating a document with design so I might go two colors actually first color I've already got is grey but let's mix that with a red and you can see underneath variants here I'm going to change the color to a red and mm, it's a bit too strong I'm going to add a yellow it's a little bit better I might change the red actually and go for more of a a variant yellow like that that's better and then I can choose vertical and you can see how I can change how that pattern looks actually I like that there that looks good as a sample choose a texture if you want you can add a texture add a pattern to that if you require as well and even you can add a picture that you can play around with the colors I click OK we then have that variant in the document you can see a little variant from the middle color going out and that's your page color there I can always tick no color if I do not want that last of all is your page borders they click page borders and you might want a border so I'm going to click box border now look to the right that's my border I've got around my document there if I untick here I can get to the top border bottom border and here left and right borders so you can choose which borders you want and you can apply it to your whole document or just sections of your document so if I click options you've got borders and shading options here you can choose where you want text within the borders so if I go up and down see the text moving up and down so I can put the text exactly where I want in there and move it to the bottom if you want and more left and more right and we've got from the edge of page but if I click text you see it fills the whole borders there but I'm going to leave it on edge of page and click OK so that's looking OK but I want to lie I probably don't need a top border actually I probably don't need I'm getting the right border and a left border just gives me kind of a header and footer also you can choose here your style so if I scroll down you might want a more prominent style there you can make that thicker four and a half points color what color should I have it's still a blue color and I can add some art if I want as well to that border so let's be a bit extravagant let's use that one and you see on the right how it's looking actually I'm just going to untick left and right again even got shading at the top tab there so you can add a shading color if you want so if I click on that you can see the shade has gone in the background of that document as well but I'm going to leave that off you can always use the clear button as well but you can add shading 12.5 to that color you've used as well so I click OK and there it is borders at the top and bottom and that color option I use there for the header so it's a great way to just sign your documents quickly and if I click set up default I can have that as default quickly as well also if I want that in my themes click themes save current theme give it a name put my theme in there and then click save so I've also got one saved in there and see at the top my custom I can access that quickly for one as well so I can swap three my themes and choose the one I want a lot of people don't use the design option but it's a quick way to design some your documents quickly and create a default for that hope that was a help next i'll be looking at layouts in part four